mini savory apple tarts. And I'm putting cheese in with the apples, and that's a great way to sort of mix up the hors d'oeuvre world and use your apples at the same time. This crust is a Parmesan crust, and it comes together in the food processor. I'll start with two cups of all-purpose flour and a tablespoon of sugar. And actually, a little bit of sugar in a pastry dough also helps keep it tender. And also, for nice texture in the crust, a tablespoon of cornmeal. This, too, helps keep it tender. And half a teaspoon of baking powder. And before I add my butter, I'll add half a cup of finely grated Parmesan cheese. And I'll just give this a little word just to combine all the dry ingredients. There we go. This is three quarters of a cup of unsalted butter that I cut into pieces and then chilled. I'm going to get my wet ingredients ready. There we go. A quarter cup of cold water, two tablespoons of sour cream. Just get this mixed together. Making sure there aren't any big butter bits. I add the liquid. And before the dough finally comes together, I want to add the last little ingredient, about half a teaspoon of finely chopped rosemary. Half for later, and then the other half in with the dough. And at this point, I just wait until it comes together. And the test that it's going to come together, give it a little squeeze with my hands, and there it is. This recipe makes 30 mini tarts. I shape it into two logs. And after I've let it rest for a good hour to chill down the butter, it's easy to slice off the individual tarts and just roll them out a little bit. They won't need too much rolling. Now, the apple I've chosen to use, and I've diced up as opposed to slicing, Royal Gala apples. If you're just having a snack and grabbing a piece of apple and a piece of cheese, the Royal Gala is really nice for this, and they hold their shape when they bake. All right, I'm preheating my oven to 375, and to keep it on the savory side, a couple tablespoons of chopped green onion. There we go. That half a teaspoon of rosemary that I have left, the other half I put in the crust, I'll put that in. I still need a little sweetness, so about three tablespoons of sugar. Give that a stir. I really want to highlight the flavor of the apple, so I start with a third of a cup of apple butter. To make it a little creamier and bring it up to the savory side of things, I'll add about the same measure of sour cream. So a third of a cup, and I'll just stir that together. All right, and can't forget the cheese and the pastry. Here's the chilled dough. I'm going to do some of my tarts with cheddar cheese, some with a nice blue cheese, and some with a bit of brie cheese. The dough definitely firms up in the refrigerator. So I've coated the outside with flour. Move those out of the way. I find it so much easier to handle one at a time. This way, the dough, I use all of it. There's no waste. I'm rolling it to about an eighth of an inch and sort of round. But this is a free-form tart, so it doesn't have to look any particular shape. Let's start with three. I've got a parchment-lined tray, a spoonful of the apple butter sour cream mixture in the center, just about half a teaspoon. Spoonful of apples on each to mix it up. Cheddar on this one, a piece of brie on this one, and then a little blue cheese on this one. And I've actually picked these cheeses because of the wines they pair with. A Riesling will go well with the cheddar cheese. A Chardonnay would go very well with the brie cheese. And then the blue cheese with a nice deep red wine. So you really have any option here. Now, the fun is in the folding. And you just loosely 
fold the dough over itself, creating little creases. It doesn't have to have any particular pattern or look, and it will hold its shape as it bakes. The cheese is peeking out of the top and easily identifiable. And then before they go in the oven, I brush the outside with an egg wash. And in a 375 oven, they take 25 to 30 minutes. I'll keep assembling these and then get them in the oven. These apple tarts are ready to come out of the oven. Mmm. The combination of apples and cheese smells so good.